Oh, what is going on guys? We are on our way to Menards in the cow print steering wheel wrapped cow print dangling mirror ornament scrunchied up Ford Explorer ready to go pick up some materials with the trailer probably wondering guys got pickup trucks why are you using the little trailer in your wife's cowed out Explorer well here's the thing Rosine's full of stuff still because the barn is so close to being concreted we're literally one week away from having concrete in the barn at least that's what the guy told me really don't want to unload that bed and truck cap and then have to load it all back up onto something in a week so right now we're just trying to limp by just using one vehicle right now because my grandpa's truck which I would also normally just be driving is getting all the paint and body work redone right now so can't currently use that it's in another state getting all redone so that's awesome but don't have it back yet excited for that when it comes back though because hopefully this barn will be just about wrapped up so when we bring that thing back we can tear into that as well as a different project and get moving on that stuff so we're going to be picking up materials for rafter reinforcement and truss re rafter slash truss reinforcement on the barn project and i'm also going to be picking up some materials because we're going to be finishing a project that me and my dad pretty much almost finished down in the basement of our new place here so we added a bedroom down there and it's pretty sweet yes it's got the egress windows and all that stuff so it's a legal bedroom but uh, it just needed a wall put up to make it official and then we just got to get a few last minute materials to wrap that up and then that's gonna be good to go so we're gonna get on that and hopefully we can get on back here and get a lot of progress today depending on how long it takes to get all these materials I got to get quite a bit of stuff mostly for the roof reinforcement is gonna be a lot of two by fours because that's what they already kind of had for a lot of the like um, you know the collars and stuff collar ties to tie everything together so I'll show you what we have in mind. Hopefully when we get back, I can demonstrate the concept of what I'm gonna be doing on at least one or two of the rafters. And then you guys can let me know, those of you who do know construction, engineering and stuff, you guys can let me know, is that a good solution to make sure that that roof is strong enough to withstand keeping that roof up for many more years. So I'll show you my concept of what I think I'm gonna do. I think it should work. I think it should be a very good, very effective method. Compared to what's there now, I think this should be a really good alternative route to go without having to completely replace the roof and completely replace it with all you know new manufactured trusses. I mean, that's always an option, but I think this would be a good alternative to be quick efficient make it strong enough to be way stronger than it is right now it'll last us for a long long time and it shouldn't give us any issues i will say this i do absolutely love living out here okay we got the lumber back i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you what we picked up not to flex or anything you know back in the day this stuff used to just be Super cheap. It's just a bunch of framing two by fours. This is for the barn project. We got some 20 footers, 12 footers, and 10 footers. And having Ty here, he's unloading the barn. He's getting everything hauled out. He's cutting some of the lumber. And what we're gonna actually be doing is running a 20 footer two by four on the back side of the old ones that are already there. Then we're taking a six foot two by four to scab on the back side of those other uh, two by four by six foots. And then we're taking a 38 inch piece and cutting it at a 45 on that side and a 30 degree angle on this side and putting them sandwiched up in between and fastened up in there. I'm no engineer, but I think that should give us the additional added strength that we need to be able to hang tin on the ceiling and make it so it's not gonna come down on us. That sounds like a plan. I mean, I mean guys, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Like I said a few videos back, it's like, we either try to save this barn or we just basically completely rebuild the barn and spend enough to basically just have a totally different barn built anyways. So I'm going the route of, since it's not my dream shop anyways in terms of the actual layout, I'm gonna turn it into my DIY dream shop. In the meantime, that way I have all the creature comforts that I need in a shop, just maybe on a little less ideal scale. but. I think this is gonna work. I think it's gonna serve the purpose that I need it to. And if nothing else, it at least restructures the Raptor support to where it's actually strong. And then uh, we should be in pretty good shape. So let's get to it.
Well, here's the progress of today. I did not get everything on film. In the beginning, I was simply wanting to test my theory to find out whether or not you know, these improvements would actually strengthen everything and you know, make it better. Looking at the roof structure the way that it is, really doing anything is gonna make it stronger. I mean, it's been here for, you know, what, 27 years, 25 years? The barn's been here a long time. This is everything that you've seen is originally the way that it's been this whole time. Except for all the new lumber you've seen here that I've added. I've added a lot of stuff for the progress of what's coming soon. But I essentially wanted to strengthen up the roof structure. I, uh, I had people say, you know, maybe you should replace the roof. So I looked into the cost of that and they were like, oh, that'd be a great idea. Just replace the rafters, do steel, whatever, make it, you know, up to new standard. The problem is then now you have to replace the, the tin on the outside on the front and back of the barn to match the new pitch of the roof because the new rafters aren't gonna be anything like this. So that's gonna be ugly looking unless you just replace the tin all the way around the barn. And then you're looking at 25 grand between that and the roof. And I'm like, well, I really don't wanna be in that deep and then still have no insulation on the inside and still have no insulation on the ceiling and then have to have another 10 grand between insulation and tin on the inside. And I'm still gonna need all this lumber on the inside to line the wall to hang the tin and everything. So every, every option that we were looking at was like, Super expensive, super expensive, super expensive. And by time you add it all up to fix this everything up to be like brand new and replace it all, basically gonna come out to being the price of having to build a brand new shop, except for the fact that it will not be a brand new shop. It'll be the same shop and everything connected to the posts and the exterior siding, two by fours will be brand new. And you know, at that point, Using this as a shop space is almost stupid. You might as well just completely rebuild something exactly the way you want it if you're gonna go and be in, you know, twenty-five to thirty-five thousand dollars at that point. I thought, let's back it up, let's find a way to save this building the way that it is, just strengthen it up and make it work for what we want to do. So I will show you the first thing that I did before we got started. I did not get this on film because there were just a lot of little things I just wanted to knock out and get done. And messing with the camera sometimes can be a pain. And I was having Ty cut boards while I was fastening stuff and I used my little cheater board pieces to hold everything up and then that would allow me to rest it up on one side, go to the other side, use another small cheater board is what I call them to hold that side up and then fasten everything, go back and forth with my ladder and I know a scissor lift or something would be way faster but we still have rock on the floor so it's not really an option at the moment. But if for some reason we're not done with this by the time the concrete's here, um, depending on how much is left, that would be a great option because right now it's taking me an average of one hour per rafter reinforcement that I'm doing. So between putting this new 20 foot two by four, putting up those two 38 inch pieces that are cut, the top cuts at a 45 degree and the bottom that's along that center support is at a 30 degree. The center board, which is 26 inches and then the six foot two by fours, sandwich on each side to make that top collar tie. That is one hour for me to do myself. Just just to hang those boards, move the ladder around, fasten everything, make sure it's level. Like it takes it takes a long time to do solo. And that is me not even cutting the lumber. That was somebody else cutting the lumber and passing me boards most of the time. The last one that I demonstrated on, he was gone, so I was gonna show you how I would do it by myself and which is how I did basically all of them, but the first one, he helped me with the first one, but then after that I used those little boards to hold the boards in place. And I said, how about I just get to fastening these up, you keep cutting boards and handing them to me, and that actually um, helped with the process because then I didn't have to stop and go cut boards and take measurements and stuff. So we, we have some template boards on the ground over here that we're using to make those boards that are at basically a 45 degree angle. The top color boards are actually just a 12 footer cut directly in half. So it's just two six foot pieces. But so far, it's it's helping a lot. So what we've had to do, you guys can see this. You see, you see how there's these two by fours, that top two by four is like popping out, the nails are popping out on that board. Well, what we're doing is cutting those long nails off with a sawzall, taking another six foot piece, putting it on the back side, sandwiching it together between the rafter and the other two by four with a four inch screw, which basically almost pokes through everything, but not quite. And then doing the same thing on the other side, then we're doing a 20 foot, beating it with a hammer into the quarter to half inch pieces of nail that are already sticking through, which tacks it up there nice. And then we use four inch screws there four of them per side to fasten and tie together. And then we're doing those two pieces that are cut essentially at a 45 degree angle 
to sandwich and come down to a point on the base. So let me show you what the base looks like. So it comes down to a point there um, and then everything is sandwiched together. So that is, that is what we're doing right now. You guys let me know because I've only done four so far. I'm not gonna be doing any more today because my lower back is starting to really, really get weak. Like when I'm on the top of that ladder, I'm like starting to wobble around because my lower back's feeling like it's taking enough for today and doing five hours of the awkward positioning and holding a board while trying to tack it with a, screw, with a screw gun. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I also have to go and finish some remodeling stuff we're doing in the basement. So I've got other work I gotta get to, but you know, we did about five-ish hours straight of this. So we got four rafters done. Um, you know, give it two or three more days, and hopefully then these are all done and ready to go. But that's where we're at for today. We do have something going on tonight. It may have already gone live. We're doing a 30X entry multiplier for the last three days of this giveaway. But hold up, because I know, I know, I know. I told you guys that 15X was gonna be the highest unless you got a mystery box, and mystery boxes were gonna be 20X because they're always 20X unless there's a higher entry multiplier. It might only be the last 48 hours to enter to win this 95 compound turbo 12 outcome. It's plus $5,000 in cash, and we're still doing two $50 cash winners for every single day of this giveaway until the last, which is June 3rd at 11.59 p.m. Check out our Instagram and Facebook page to see those daily cash winners. But because we were not planning on doing 30X at the end, and there were a lot of people that entered during the 15X period in the beginning and this last portion, because we had told you guys that that was the highest entry multiplier, what we're actually gonna do is everybody that entered before this 30X entry period went live. We're actually gonna throw you guys into a drawing for $500 cash, and we're gonna be picking one of you guys and giving you guys $500. For the inconvenience of us not knowing that we were going to do 30X and telling everybody that 15 was the max entry multiplier, because it really was gonna be, and then we got so many emails, so many texts, so many messages on Instagram, people saying, you know, do the 30X, why aren't you doing 30X? I thought you were gonna do 30X. You know, you've done 30X the last couple giveaways. We took a vote and it was like 80% of the people on our Instagram page said yes, they want us to do 30X entries. So we're gonna be doing 30X entries here just for these last couple days and then the giveaway's over. And yes, the mystery box subscribers are going to be getting 30X as well for this giveaway. We've got a lot of stuff we're planning on doing once we get this freaking shop buttoned up. I know some of you don't really care for the shop stuff, but this is all I have to work on right now until it's done because I don't have any other projects on hand at the moment because they're all getting stuff done right now. So we're trying to button this up as fast as we can so when we get our other trucks back, we're ready to rock and roll. Concrete's gonna be here next week sometime. And then we're gonna be hanging 10, getting this thing buttoned up and it's going to be super, super sick. One more thing guys, I'm gonna ask you a question and let you guys take the vote. Like I said, since we were not planning on doing 30X, I'm going to do a small giveaway that's just for the people that entered during the 15X period previously expecting that to be the highest entry multiplier because that's what we said in a lot of our posts and stuff. Would you guys rather us do one winner for $500 or five different winners for 100 or 10 winners for 50? You guys let me know down in the comment section below. Whichever comment gets the most likes and comments under it will be the direction that we go for that give back. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Like I said, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.